What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm bringing you a new game called Knighthood. Now this game just came out today, I've been playing it for about three or four hours or so by now, and I gotta say, I'm really loving it. Uh, the action gameplay is a lot of fun, the character design is really cool, uh, the heroes that you can get is awesome, I love the weapon system they have, but today I just want to talk about all of that stuff, so let's just get right into it. So let's go ahead and start with really game. It's like they're like, he's recording a YouTube video. Let's pop up a thing. We're not going to buy this. No. <laughs> let's get right into the character. So as you can see here, you play a knight. You got this cool little rage gauntlet, which you get in like the first little part of the game. This is what allows you to do all this cool stuff. Um, but you can see that they have armor. You have gear. Uh, weapons, body armor, arm, arm armor, helmet armor, leg armor, shoulders, cape, and of course you have your gauntlet. Um, this armor just gives you damage and it gives you, um, well, armor. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, and it's a, pretty much this is how the gotcha system works. You can get different weapons and gear to power up your unit. You can see in the bottom right hand corner it shows your health, it shows your armor. Um, and the weapon system is what I think is the coolest. And the weapon system, as you can see here, you have different levels of weapons, right? And each weapon level gives you different damage. But as you can also see, there's a type underneath it. So this current sword I'm using has undead next to it, which means it deals more damage to undead creatures. This hammer has goblin, this sword has beast, this sword has demon, and this sword has nothing, right? So I really like this because it allows you to sort of change up your play style, allowing you to, oh, am I going to hit him with my sword or my hammer, or am I going to punch him with my fist, um, or am I going to choose to use one of my um, heroes to fight this guy instead because they have more benefits, which let's get into heroes now. Um, as you can see, heroes are pretty similar to your weapons. They actually have the same little thing next to them, and it shows you what they're good against. So this Anara lady, uh, she is good against undead. Ash is good against beasts, Grip good against goblins, etc. Right? Um, so it kind of allows you to fix up your play style a little bit and decide, oh, okay, well, I'm going to bring Ash, and then Ash is going to um, do his ability when I fight beasts, and Anara is going to use her ability when I fight undead, um, and I'm going to use my hammer when I fight goblins, right? Um, so it's definitely, it allows you to kind of customize your team a little bit to make some pretty good plays, which I like. But speaking of combat, let's just get right into it, because one of the things I like the most about this game is actually the combat system. The combat system is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. So let's just get right into it. So it actually shows you the enemies um, ahead of time, which is really uh, cool. Um, so I can see here that I'm fighting against all undead. So let's go ahead and get in. So I want to make sure that I bring my undead weapon and my undead ally because, you know, I'm fighting undeads. But let's say I was fighting goblins. I could go to swap here and brings up all my weapons with the strongest weapon I have for those typings. So in this case, obviously, it's telling me that undead is best because I'm fighting versus undeads. So I will use my undead weapon. So here we go. We'll go right into the fight. Loading screens, loading screens. I like loading screens, guys. It's my favorite thing ever. So much sarcasm. Oh, hey, listen to me. All right, here. So we're in the Dreskar Fields in High Guard. It looks like we're fighting some undead beasts, which is kind of interesting. But you see, we use this gauntlet to summon our dudes, which is pretty cool. All right, we are versus this undead. So now. As you can see here, you have this little punching thing down here. That's our gauntlet. And when you use your gauntlet, you actually build up power and call build up rage is what they call it. It allows you to use rage abilities. But it doesn't deal special damage. So in this case, because we're fighting undeads, I'm gonna use my sword um, to do attacks because it does more damage to undeads. Up here in the top right, you'll actually see the actions, which, uh, or how many attacks you can make or how many things you can do in one turn. So in this case, I can do four attacks. So if I attack once, attack twice, attack three times, and attack four times, boom, KO. If you look at the top of the screen, you'll see that each consecutive attack does additional damage based on the chain counter. So when you do four attacks in a row, 
the second attack gets 25%, third attack gets 25%, and the fourth attack gets 50%. So if you do four attacks in a row, you get extra damage on each hit, which is really, really nice. Uh, so we'll go into this next one. Now, obviously, I want to show you some of the other things we have. So if you come over here, we can use this lady's ability. Uh, and she does a little healing bubble, which is awesome. And this dude right here does a explosive shot, which is pretty cool. But we'll go ahead and just finish off with two hits. Mm. All right, we'll take all these damages. Ow. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna kill this lady right here, this little bird. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Almost took out all three of them there, dang. Yeah, 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 all right, boom. Boom, done so, perfect. All right, let's get back into the third part of the fight. So we got, looks like five enemies here. Oh man. All right, we're gonna heal up. Boom, the cool thing about healing here too is that it actually doesn't just heal health. Um, it actually heals your shields too, which is really really cool. Most games you can't you can't heal your shields, um, so I definitely like that part of the combat as well. It's pretty interesting. Um, it definitely makes for some fun play style because I don't feel like I'm wasting my heals uh, when I'm fighting things that just take down my shields because I can actually use them for take like for healing my shields as well, which is really cool. Alrighty. Yeah, shoot, 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 shoot. All right, boom, 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 boom. So as you can see, like, once I defeat an enemy, I'm swiping to the right or swiping to the left to be able to target the next enemy in line, right? Which is really, really important. Um, it's actually a really cool system uh, that they put in the game that allows you to, you know, not waste your attacks, basically. down to I think the last guy here all right and boom KO I think that's it I think we're done I think that was the last dude yes it was the last dude but yeah so combat's pretty interesting uh, I'm enjoying it so far for sure uh, it's definitely um, new you know I, I've never played a game like this it doesn't mean that obviously games like this didn't exist before you know knighthood but I'm definitely enjoying it it's very cool there is also an upgrade system um, which once this loads up here real quick I will show you how that is but as you can see we just got a little like purple thing so if I come to my gauntlet here uh, we have all these different gauntlets that you can get after doing certain things or you can unlock them now with gems uh, and if I click level up, it takes me to this screen. Um, and this screen gives us all sorts of different upgrades. So I can come over here. Finishing punches I have a 3% chance to inflict stun. There we go. So I have a 3% chance to stun whenever I use the punch as my last move. Um, obviously, you can get, you know, it looks like probably 6% crit chance, 9% damage uh, of all weapons, 30% uh, damage to all punches. Um, probably 15 or 20 percent health things like that um, but definitely an interesting little upgrade system I'm really enjoying it so far um, I am really excited to see the other kinds of parts of the games uh, and what other things they have because if I go to this back section here and I click the go to button there's all these different modes um, which just like I'm, I'm like oh there's so much stuff to do um, as you can see here there is a PvP uh, there's these hunts which are like daily you can go in and farm shards daily um, for heroes which is really cool shrine of heroes it looks like I just unlocked so we'll see what that is uh, later and maybe we'll do a future video on it but then there's this monster cave dwarven foundry onslaught dungeon uh, enlightened library and roaming monsters I don't know what any of those things are but I'm really really excited to get into the game a little bit further and make some more content for this but that's pretty much my first impressions guys um, I'm really enjoying the game it's been a lot of fun so far and I want to play more I will probably be continuing to play for the rest of the night so definitely look forward to more content for knighthood if you like this video 
please make sure to leave a like on this video down below. If you don't liked it, that's fine. Hit me with a dislike. Let me know. Um, I want to make content that you guys want to watch. So if you don't like it, let me know with dislikes and, and I'll, I'll change up that content. If you did like this content and you want to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell notification directly next to it to be notified when my next video goes live. I do try to post content five to six times a week, normally between 8 and 9 a.m. PST. My videos will go live, so definitely make sure to come back for the next one. But anyways, guys, that is it for me today, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.